as you see. He wasn't in school, and um, so when I would read him a story, uh, then the next day the neighbor always, because we lived close to together, the neighbor would come over and, and Don would say, I got another Bible story for you. And he'd tell her, repeat what I had read to him. And she was soft-spoken and she'd say, well, I didn't know that was in the Bible. And that would just tickle uh, Don. He wanted to learn more and more. And, um, but I'm telling it tonight about King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. Over, uh, it, he overtook Jerusalem and, uh, um, and besieged it. He also took part of the ves ves vessels of the, uh, of the God, which he put in the house of his God. <coughs> And now Nebuchadnezzar wanted all of the king's seed, like the children of Israel, that had no blemish, that had to be healthy, well favored, and skillful, with wisdom, cunning, and knowledge, and understanding of science. In plain words, he wanted the best. That included David and his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Second year of King Nebuchadnezzar, uh, he had a dream, and no one could tell the king what it meant. So the king was going to just, he got real mad, and he's just going to kill all the wise men of Babylon. Uh, Babylon. And uh, Daniel told the king, give me time, and I will tell you what the dream meant. For there is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets. Well, Daniel told his three friends and they would, that they would desire mercies of God of heaven concerning this secret and the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision and I'm sure the three Hebrew children were praying for him they was all praying for getting the the meaning of the dream and uh, the dream uh, was that it would take place uh, it would take place in the future and um, uh, but also at the end where he took all the the best people I mean, the healthiest, best children. Um, he had taken them and he trained them for three years. And they also was to eat the same food that the king ate, which was meat and wine. Well, the other things, but that was included. And Daniel and his three friends didn't want to eat what the king ate. So for 10 days, they ate uh, pause, P-U-L-S-E. That's, I looked it up in the dictionary. That's uh, <laughs> seeds of various plants of beans. 
And after 10 days, they appeared to be fairer and fatter than the others, those that ate from the king's table. So they, they, uh, they refused to eat the king's food. And uh, so when he was uh, uh, dreaming, to t had the dream, the vision came. And King Nebuchadnezzar fell on his face. Oh, well, wait, I must have left one out. Um, the dream was what would take place in years to come. Well, uh, Daniel 2, 46, the King Nebuchadnezzar fell on his face and worshiped Daniel. That's after Daniel told him what the dream meant and said that your, your God is a God of gods and a Lord of kings. King made da uh, Daniel ruler, ruler over the whole providence of Babylon <laughs> and chief of the governors over all the wise men. The first thing that uh, Daniel did was call his three friends to come in and help. And they set them over the providence and the king, I mean Daniel said at the gate of the kings. And I'm not for sure how many years passed, but King uh, Nebuchadnezzar had this huge image of gold made, and he wanted all the leaders and people to bow down and worship the statue or image. And because it, it's huge, you told how big it was in the Bible. And uh, he had all kinds of music to play. When people heard the music, they were supposed to bow down and worship. But Daniel and his three friends didn't bow down, and that made the king very angry. And he demanded the furnace to be heated seven times hotter. So the three friends were tied up with all their clothes on and thrown in the furnace. The most mighty men in the army to bind and throw them in. The heat was so hot it killed the men. So the three men fell down, bound into the midst of the burning furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar rose up in haste and spake unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of fire? They answered and said, True, O king. king said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the for, uh, form of the fourth is like the Son of God. You know, you forget about the Son in there. When he seen it, he knew uh, who it was. The king know, uh, told uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the servants of the Most High God, come forth out of the fire. And the, all the leaders saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no pair, nor was their hair of their head singed, and neither were their coats, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then the king said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies that they uh, not serve nor worship any god except their own, own god. And the king uh, made a degree that every person, nation, and language which spake anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut into pieces, and their house shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. So, um, I hope it didn't take too long, but... I thought that was such a good story. Uh, you know, sometimes we float along and, and then we forget what God has really done for us. And, um, and uh, if we're healed, um, I know myself when uh, I get real sick, you know, you're um, asking for prayer, you won't help. And... Uh, then when we feel real good, sometimes we forget all about the pain and stuff we've had. But we should never forget the true God, the God that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego served, and Daniel too. But they always stuck together because uh, he, <coughs> the three Hebrew children were friends of Daniel. And um, so... Um, 
Now we have, uh, well, let's see. I've got to pray before uh, I go on. Um, and Lord, we do uh, come to you and, uh, and praise your name. And, and we pray that we won't forget what you've done for us. We thank you for this uh, chapel that, uh, that honors your word, for the volunteers upstairs that answer the phone. We pray for each one that listens in and for the ones that uh, is not able to go to church. And I know a lot of people in rest homes uh, tune in on uh, this program, and we thank you for that. We thank you for the other volunteers that come in, for the workers, for each one that takes a part. And we pray for Margaret and uh, her, um, well, she went to the dentist and for her problems. And uh, Lord, we uh, pray for the singers that's uh, coming up. We just pray that they will do their best and honor you. For we ask it in your name. Amen. And the group we have today, um, one person's missing because of sickness. And they said his daughter was sick and, uh, and that was eternity bound. Um, I remember one night they were singing several years ago and uh, different people were calling in uh, to name the group. And they came up, eternity bound. And they're from Jackson. And the one to, to get a uh, hold of is Billy Joe Mullins. And they go to Jackson Full Gospel Church. And the number is 606-398-2522. Uh, if you want to get in touch with them, ask them to come to your church or whatever. And uh, so we'll turn it over to the group to sing for the Lord. We hope that everyone that's listening is saved. If they're not, they can be. That's the main thing. It's not just a private thing that a few can can get or have. It's for all. Lord died for all of us. Shed his blood on that old cross that each one of us could have the right to salvation. And I'm so glad of that. I surely am. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, let's, let's have a little prayer before we sing, boys. Y'all ready? Yes. Let's have a little Oh, gracious God and Heavenly Father, Lord, again, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Again, we thank you, dear God, for this privilege and opportunity, Lord. To sing your praises, Lord. Lift you up. Dear God, just have your way, leading God, and direct it. Use this way you see fit. Bless this station and everyone here and, and everyone that's listening, tuned in, Lord. Just have your way, dear God. We thank you for it all. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Brother Bill. Long years ago, when out in sin, I had no hope, no peace within. Down on my knees in agony. I prayed to Jesus, and he gladly set me free. I never shall forget the day When all the burdens of my soul will roll away Why it makes me happy, glad and free I'll sing and shout it for you every And feel them by my side. My feeble steps he come to God. When trials come, he comforts me. Through faith in him, or sin, I'll have the victory. I never shall, I never shall forget the day. Forget the day when all the burdens of my soul will roll away. It makes me happy, it makes me happy glad, and free. glad and free. I'll sing and shout it for you. Oh, 
Oh, sinner, come to Jesus now. Save and clean you, give you peace and joy within. I never shall, I never shall forget, the day forget the day when all the burdens of my soul are rolled away. Makes me happy, glad and free. I'll sing and shout it for he's everything to me. I'll sing and shout it for he's everything to me. For many long years I've traveled this road I'm weary and tired of carrying my load Oh yes, I've been tempted by Satan to bow But I'm too near home Troubles and trials have already come, and I can't turn back now. Oh, I can't turn back now. I'm almost home. I stand at the river. There's a beautiful mansion God built just for me. Just a few more evenings, then morning will dawn. My journey's all ended, and I'll be home. Almost home. Through troubles and trials, I've already come, and I can't turn back now. I'm almost home, and I can't turn back now. I'm almost home. It's a great honor to be here tonight, Amen. and uh, we miss Brother Doug and, and uh, praying for his daughter. And uh, I want to send this out to uh, Stella and Mount Sterling and my grandma, who is watching while she's holding the phone, or listening while she's holding the phone in West Virginia. And uh, this song I'm about to sing is uh, uh, written about my grandpa and uh, Grandpa Spencer. And I want to send it out to my kids and also to Lonnie and Oscar, who is watching over in Manchester, who... Uh, uh, help build uh, one of my cabins on the mountain of rest and uh, I want to send it out to you and pray it's a blessing to you They called him a simple man for the way he chose to live Didn't have a lot of things in this world that they called 
some would question and wonder why this old man lived like this but he always gave them their simple reply He's my redeemer who bought me from sin. I've got Jesus. What else do I need? He's my joy and peace within. Now this world is running to and fro, trying to find happiness within. They live their lives surrounded in fear, not knowing what tomorrow will bring. If you listen to the words of my song, I'll give you my testimony. How God came my life and it turned my world around yes. oh I got Jesus what else do I need he's my redeemer who bought me from sin I've got Jesus what else do I my joy and peace within I got Jesus what else do I need he's my joy and peace within good thing about it, he can be yours too. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I was thinking of an old song here. We'll do it while we're right there in E. It says, lead me home. Praise the Lord. I like the words to it. Said, I'm standing on a mountain. I hear the angels' songs. I'm reaching over joy. Take my hand, Lord, lead me home. Praise the Lord. Listen to the words of it. Oh, I have seen my last tomorrow. I am holding my last breath. Oh, it's goodbye. Oh, sweet world of sorrow. My new life. Oh 
All my burdens are behind me. I have prayed my final prayer. Oh, don't you cry. coming after a while Oh, payday, payday Payday's coming after a while Put your time in for Jesus Payday's coming after a while If you've been working for Jesus coming after a while If you've been working for Jesus Payday is coming after a while Put your time in for Jesus Payday is coming after a while Oh, payday, payday coming out. 
sent his son they called him Jesus he came to heal love and forgive he lived and died to burn my pardon an empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives because He lives. I can face to because He lives. All fear is gone because I know He holds the future and my I was talking to a lot of people uh, earlier today, and I do a live uh, video on Facebook uh, 
through the week and uh, there's a lot of people going through a lot of things right now and uh, sometimes when you're all alone and you feel like what you're going through sometimes makes you feel like what's the use of even going on but I, this song says I'm still holding on and uh, I like the words this song says people said I never make it said I'd never see it through They don't know what keeps me going I guess they've never met you My life was in shambles Until the day you came along Turn my tears in the laughter you gave me a brand new song And I'm still holding on Lord, I'll never let you go You gave me a smile Touch my heart, you touch my soul that's behind me Lord I'll burn them to the ground I'm still holding on You're the best friend ever found not to prosper I was left hanging over my head said I'd never count for nothing that's what most people say I've been known to be unsettled I never stay around too long you're the treasure I've been searching for Lord I'm still holding on I'm still holding on Lord I'll never let you go you gave me a smile touch my heart you touch my soul Bridges that's behind me, Lord, I burn them to the ground. I'm still holding on. He's the best friend I ever had. The bridges that's behind me, Lord, I burn them to the ground. I'm still holding on. He's the best friend I ever had. an old song here. Let's see. Wait a minute. It's an old song called Help Me. Uh, I, I love the thought behind it. It's, uh, it's kind of like someone in desperation and 
we get in desperation sometimes and we think the whole world's a caving in on us and no one cares no one loves us that's the way we feel mm -hmm. but if you read the god's word it tells us very plain that god loves us yes. and it tells us how he showed that love when he gave his son for us for our sins let him die on an old cross praise god what a what a death it was and then was a resurrection it was amen. praise the lord amen praise, praise god let's see here let me get my gears out my old fingers ain't a helping me out tonight too much they're giving me problems i guess i wore them out i guess praise the lord Listen to the words of you. Oh Lord, help me walk another mile, just one more mile. I'm so tired of walking all alone. And Lord, help me smile, oh another smile. Just one more smile I don't think I can make it On my own I never thought I needed help Before Thought that I could Get by Now I know I just can't take it anymore Oh, with humble heart on bended knees I'm begging you please to help me Come down from your golden throne to me, lowly me. I need to feel the touch of your tender hand and remove these chains of darkness and let me see, Lord, let me see just where. I fit into your master plan. Can you please help me? Oh, with humble heart on bending knee, I'm begging you, please help me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Send this all out to my neighbors up there. I think uh, Ford's wife uh, maybe had a knee replacement or something, and she's uh, it's giving her a hard go. And 
anytime you have one of those things, that's hard. You work on this old body, you know, it, uh, it causes a lot of pain. Bless her and pray for her. Uh, pray for her, pray for her loss. We need to always remember our lost and pray for them. Uh, My day will come when I reach that city. The angel will listen while I sing my song. I'll shine as a star when I'm home with Jesus. Oh, I'm glad to say I'm well on my way. My day will come. Not much recognition do I get down here, but in comparison, few people know me, that's very clear, but when I get home, what a great celebration. Heaven hosts I'll be, and the Savior will be. My day will come. Oh, my day will come when I reach that city. The angels will listen while I sing my song. I'll chant it. I'm well on my way. Now sometimes I feel all alone in a world full of people. They just cast me aside. They pay me no mind. As they go on their way But when I think of the Lord I feel high and stable Oh, I'm glad to say I'm well on my way My day will come Sing my song. I'll shout at the star when I'm home with Jesus. I'm well on my way. My day will come. Oh, I'm glad to say I'm leaving any day. My day. Well, uh, we've got a whole lot of song requests for you, and, and uh, so uh, I got a bunch of song requests. And then uh, these are uh, from Lincoln County. She was reading the same scripture and said, remember her in prayer. Um, an aunt called in for a nephew from Harlan County, hit with a car, brain hemorrhage, ribs and pebbles broken. Um, from Buckhorn, got some, uh, uh, so 
praying for children, praising God for salvation. Uh, from Floyd County, a son in the hospital, gallbladder pneumonia. Virginia, kidney stones, and granddaughter, kidney stones. Uh, from Whitley County, daughter died in September, and then husband died in October, having a hard time. You know, uh, sort of, uh, the more busier you get, you're, you're thinking, you just sit here, and I don't want to go anywhere, and I don't want to do anything. You sit there, and you keep remembering the loss that you've got. But I know for myself, I had to move. I had to get out. I, I went places. I, I didn't feel like it sometimes. But you have to stay busy, and, and maybe there are other people that's feeling as bad as you are. So here from Somerset, uh, for him and his family, and they requested uh, troublesome water. Uh, here, uh, Leslie County, six children taken from home. Pray for the children. Uh, here is um, from Wayne County. Uh, Mickey is uh, putting blood through his kidneys, and he's real weak, and pray for all his family. And she has a bad cough. Um, Kathy from Knox, uh, she's pregnant and her appendix burst in UK Medical Hospital. So that would be very serious, I would think. Um, Thelma uh, from Madison needs prayers. Uh, from Letcher County, family in Tennessee to pray for. Um, here's someone in the hospital from Pikeville, uh, Estill County. Uh, uh, this um, Bill's father is at the hospital doing tests and needs prayer. Uh, Nettie uh, on life support in Corbin Hospital and said dedicate any song to her. Uh, here from Moorhead, prayers for a family situation. Um, from Harlan, Louise has been in the hospital in COPD, diabetic, um, and then here is uh, February the 22nd or something, belated uh, 20th maybe, 80 years, please pray. Um, here's from Sue from Knott County. She has known Doyle for years, had three heart attacks. Pray for her. Uh, Wolf County, bad uh, back issues. Please pray. Montgomery, special unspoken request for his son. And we still don't want to forget the, the prayer request that I first named when we came in. Juanita Smith um, has a flu and pneumonia. And now that is Dawn's sister. And her son, David, is in the Lexington Hospital and they're going to have surgery in the morning. And the other son, Randy, has requested prayer for himself. And uh, so we want to remember all of these and the ones that uh, we're thankful for the ones that just listen in and requested uh, song requests. At least they're listening, they're paying attention to what we're saying. So we're thankful for that. Now the ones that, uh, that Mrs. Margaret, uh, she's not sick, but she just had to go to the dentist to, uh, to see what the dentist is going to do. So, you know, when you go to the dentist, you don't, don't go one time. You have to keep going, and, and they plan. And, and, uh, but anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's the reason she's absent tonight. And, uh, but, you know, uh, the unspoken request, well, that can cover a lot of territory. Some of it could be really urgent, and some maybe just, you know, uh, some maybe just wants her name mentioned, but when they say unspoken, um, I sort of pay attention to it because you don't know what uh, going on in the background. And right here's one that said the singers were awesome, and uh, um, and then they uh, call for the whole family. Here's one I'll fly away and go rest high on the mountains. Are are beautiful. Uh, now I know that they sing that a lot of times, and uh, 
But we appreciate these uh, that uh, came out today, and we hate that uh, Doug is not with them, but he had to go to the hospital to be with his daughter who is sick. And uh, so we miss him tonight, but we appreciate the others uh, coming on and filling in. And that's what we have to do sometimes, not that it's our choice, but we have to uh, keep up. Uh, because sometimes when I host, I get nervous and, and you know, you don't know hardly what to say and, and uh, you grunt around, mispronounce words and you're thinking I'm getting worse and worse trouble. But I just appreciate everybody and, and um, well, I don't think the singers has gone very far. They could come back anytime they wanted to and uh, so uh, now that is uh, Eternity Bound, and uh, the contact name was Billy Joe Mullins, and they go to Jackson Full Gospel Church, and the phone number is 606-398-2529, and they're from um, Jackson, Kentucky. And so we appreciate them coming on and, and filling in. To, uh, so we still miss Doug. He, he's uh, usually, you know, does a lot of talking when he comes, and we miss him. So anytime the, the singers want to start, they can. We're glad the Lord's in charge of everything. Amen. I'd like to send it all out to my wife and my sister, my Aunt Gladys, and uh, all of them up there in Lackey around, and over your keys, and Jackson. Yeah. Send this right. out to Praise my in laws and their family. Amen. We had a request for this, and somebody was Yeah. Here, so this is a, a little song that when you're. When you're doing things around the house or whatever and uh, uh, you need something to just think about or to just to sing, just sing this little song and it'll give you a little lift up. It says, praise the Lord. If I am, says I am, then I am, praise the Lord. If I am, says I am, then I am. If I am, says I am, then I am. If I am, says I am, then I am. If I am, says I am, then I am. If I am, says I'm saved, then I am. If I am, says I'm saved, then I am. If I am, says I am, then I am. If I am, says I'm rich, then I am. If I am, says I'm rich, then I am. If I am, says I'm rich, then I am. If I am, says I am, then I am.
if I am says I'm healed then I am if I am says I'm healed then I am if I am says I'm healed then I am if I am says I am then I am if I am says I am then I am song that Bill likes to sing and a lot of people like to hear him sing. Uh, he calls it, if I got the victory, I think we all call it, we're under the spout, isn't oh, yeah. it? Is oh, that yeah. what it's at yeah. All right. <laughs> Since I got the victory, brother, I found it out. It's a good on the inside, the outside of the shell. Now since I got my one, two picks, I'm happy and I'm glad. I'm under the spot where the glory comes out. and also it's my Aunt Gladys singing. She likes to hear this old song. I like the thought in it, talking about heaven. 
One of these days I want to go there. Looking forward to it. Cause there ain't much to offer down here. When you compare it to heaven, there's nothing to offer down here. Praise the Lord. It's a land where the body will never grow old. It's a land with no tears of sorrow will ever flow. It's a land where the body will never grow old. It's a land where the body will never grow. out to Joan and Daryl Noble. Someday the Lord will descend from his home on high. He will appear with his angels in the twinkling of an eye. He'll carry all Our Savior bore on that day From the cross to the ground To the tomb where they lay How he died for you and me So that we could be saved The price that he paid Oh, what a sight it will be To see that eastern gate To enter in 
down and see the beauty and to look on his face I want to walk with mom and dad down the shining path can you imagine imagine to be the pain our Savior bore on that day from the old rugged cross to the tomb where he lay how he died for you and me so that we Can you imagine, imagine the price that he paid? Can you imagine, imagine the price that he about the blind man Barnabas was his name after Jesus touched him he never was the same he received his sight he saw the light how the light did shine so call me Barnabas please don't call me blind yeah call me Barnabas please don't call me blind for the day of my darkness I have left behind now I'm free since he touched me I can see this fine to call me for the mail. Please don't call me blind. Just like the blind man, I was begging by the road. I was blind, could not see, I had a heavy load. Then Jesus passed by me, I cried out for my sight. He turned around and healed me, now I can see the light. Hey, call me Barnabas, please don't call me blind. For the day of my darkness, I have left behind. Now I'm free since he touched me, I can see just fine. So call me Barnabas. Please don't call me blind. Continue to remember Doug's daughter in prayer there and so on and everything. I can hardly wait till that day when I hear my Jesus say, Well done, come home, my child, while I'm living here below. I'm going to work and I'm going to show how much I love him. I want to see him smile. I want to see him smile. Well done, my child. You've done your best. Come rest a little while. Sin you've overcome. 
crown of life you have won But most of all, I want to see him smile I've had trouble and I've had sorrow I don't worry about tomorrow For I know I'll hold my hand and cry No, if I will do my best Surely he will do the rest He'll guide the way to that far land Wanna see him smile Well done, my child You've done your best Come rest a little while world of sin you've overcome crown of life you have won but most of all i want to see him smile but most of all i want to see him smile made it down tonight glad to be fellow sure all made it that's what we sure uh Hate sickness, but that's all part of this world. We're all going to going to go through it at some point in our lives. You're going to face sickness, but uh, most of all, you got to get saved. That's the that's the main thing. Well, this whole world's going to come to an end pretty soon, and you got to make it out of it. If you want to go to the good place, you got to be saved. That's just that's all there is to it. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was thinking today of my life here on earth, thinking back over the years. There's been a lot of heartache, sorrow, and pain. There's been disappointment and tears, oh, but there's also and a deep set old peace that only the born again know. His spirit leads me, keeps me, and feeds me that he gave me when he made me whole. So no worry. Asking in his love and his grace, singing his praises through countless ages with my Savior forever. I'll be his blessed assurance, gives me strength for endurance when the call comes. Don't worry. How precious it's been with Jesus, my friend, walking together each day. He's with me in the valleys. He's with me on the mountains. He's with me in each trial that I face. But I know there's the time place in a day when my journey to home is complete when my work here is done and my last song is sung he'll call but don't worry about me so don't worry about me when it comes time for leaving I'm going far better place on heaven's gold strand not 
made with hands I'll be basking in its love and its grace I'll be singing his praises through countless ages with my Savior forever I'll be his blessed assurance gives me strength for endurance when the call comes don't worry about me when the call comes don't worry about me Mine's blank on it. Preacher man, you call. I oh. Can you do it? In what year are you going to do it? You do it in that first? Old preacher man, wiped the sweat from his echo face. Said I've been a long time traveling in this desert place. All of the gold I've ever had, I can hold in my hand. But I stake a claim.
Let's do a welcome home. Yes. That's a song I, I love the words to. You know, it would be good to hear, to hear the Lord say, Welcome home. Welcome home. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. There's a day out in front of us, oh I know it'll surely come. That eastern sky will open wide, revealing God's own Son. And I know from here to heaven is but a twinkling of an eye. And in the midst of all His glory, we'll hear the sweetest cry. Welcome home, I knew you'd come. Welcome home, you're here for good. Oh, just look around, was it worth the wait? Well, 
welcome home Step through the gate believe at least for me oh I'll see my mom and dad my brothers and my sisters everywhere you look will be free all degrees will be present by the one we love so dear no mortal man has ever seen or heard what we'll hear Welcome home, I knew you'd come, oh welcome home, you're here for good, oh just look around, was it worth the wait, oh welcome home, step through the gate. Oh, welcome home, step through the gate. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Praise God. Got you now. Go ahead. More than wealth, fame, or desire. More than all this world's a tar, more than anything in my life, I've got to make it. Take my possessions, great or small, friends and family, you can take them all. More than anything in my life, I've got to make it. It's more than anything in my life. I've got to make it. I've got to know my name is Christ. In that lamb based book of life, I want to hear him say, Well done. Enter in my child, you want more than anything in my life. I've got to make it. What good is all I've come to know If I gain this world but I lose my soul More than anything in my life I've got to make it Take my possessions, great or small Friends and family, you can take them all More than anything in my life I've got to make it it's more than anything in my life I've got to make it yeah. I've got to know my name is Christ In that Lamb great book of life I want to hear him say well done Enter in my child you want More than anything in my life I've got to make it Yes, more than anything in my life, I've got to make it. Let's do a, this is an old song that uh, I, I know awful well. Uh, I believe I do it in. D, I think, D for sure. D. You can do it in D or D for sure. Uh, D for sure. Get my all my strings straight here. Yes. Praise the Lord. Oh, 
all without him, what could I do? What could I do? Without him, I could do nothing. Without him, I'd surely fail. Oh, without him, I would be drifting like a ship without a sail. Oh, gee. Don't turn him away, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh without him, how long I would be. Without him, I would be dying. Without him, I'd be enslaved. Without him, my life would be hopeless. But with Jesus, thank God. Don't turn him away. Once a sinner far from Jesus, I was perishing with the cold. But the blessed Savior heard me when I cried. Then he threw his robe around me and he led me to his fold. Now I'm living on the hallelujah side. Oh, glory be to Jesus, let those hallelujahs roll. Help me sing my Savior's praises far and wide. For I've opened up toward heaven all the windows of my soul. And I'm living on the hallelujah side. Yeah, 
Here the sun is always shining and the sky is always bright. There's no place for gloomy Christians to abide. For my soul is filled with music and my heart with great delight. And I'm living on the hallelujah side. Oh, glory be to Jesus, let those hallelujahs roll. Help me sing my Savior's praises far and wide. For I've opened up toward heaven all the windows of my soul. And I'm living on the hallelujah side. Oh, glory be to Jesus, let those hallelujahs roll. Help me sing my Savior's praises far and wide. For I've opened up toward heaven all the windows of my soul. And I'm living on the hallelujah side. And I'm living on the hallelujah side. Well, now we thank the singers, and we miss Doug to be over there to fuss with us, but uh, they've really done good tonight, and especially the songs, I thought they all covered them good when they talk about welcome home. Well, everybody's interested in the new home, or, or when my time comes to go, we want to be ready, or uh, more than anything in my life, I've got to make it, and uh, that just part of the songs, uh, but I thought all their songs were good that they sung tonight, and uh, they did a good job, and uh, um, so uh, to get a hold of them, you have to call Billy Joe Mullins from Jackson Full Gospel Church, and that is 606-398-2529, and we thank them very much for coming tonight, and uh, Brenda and I have uh, got some, I, I brought her down from the phone room, but I've got just a few, uh, and then I'm going to let uh, Brenda read. Uh, this little, well, I guess a girl, five-year-old Nora, she called in from Clay County, and uh, she, they had quit breathing on resp respirator and headed to UK now. So did you all pray mm -hmm. for her up there? Well... Mm -hmm. Um, and then um, right here from, it didn't say what county, but Carolyn and Wilburn. Uh, Carolyn is in Somerset Hospital after WLJC prayer. She is off the ventilator, and prayer still needs for, for both of them, but anyway, uh, they are better, and that's what we like to hear. And uh, uh, she lost her daughter today. This is... Um, a rose from Laurel County, and uh, it's Rosie's granddaughter. Anyway, uh, Betty from um, Lee County needs prayer for Breathy County family prayer. Uh, Jason needs guidance so he can uh, hear clearly from the Lord. Now, that's a good request. Mm -hmm. Pay attention and use wisdom and uh, whatever understanding, knowledge, and everything else. Uh, and you should have um, the guidance uh, from the Lord. And right here, a lady from Lee County has serious health uh, problem from Wayne County having surgery Thursday. He is on dialysis, and jo Joseph needs prayer. Dean, the whole family needs prayer. Breath of County strength for their bodies. Uh, here from Wolf County, they call for strength. Um, Here's uh, from uh, Breathy County, needs prayer for colon cancer. And then from Carter County, uh, they have uh, liver trouble and they need prayer. And uh, uh, Mary, they called it by Mary from Laurel, uh, arthritis of knee and for other health problems. And uh, then from, um, well, they didn't say what county, they have the flu and James is losing blood uh, and they are enjoying their program. 
And also, when all the prayer requests we've been mentioned and everything, is my own um, son-in-law and from Lee County, and uh, he has um, uh, he um, was an art teacher here in Lee County, and a lot of people knows him. But right now, he's got cancer and he's battling um, um, radiation. And uh, y'all, uh, the now, I don't know much about sending texts and all that. I'm not used to one of those phones. But those that are, send them an aggravated test or something so that uh, it'll shock him. So I'll, I'll uh, turn this over to Brenda. She's got some to uh, read. Okay. I have Mary from Laura County, and she really enjoyed the singing. And this is Fern Deaton from Prairie County. Her legs and feet are hurting really bad. And she says, please pray for her. Emory and Charles from Jackson, these are brothers, and they need help from the Lord. And they're persistent in prayer because they call. And this is for a son, and it's called in by Barbara from Wayne County. It's uh, sur Thursday. He's going for a test. He has a knot on his neck. This is for the singers from Charlotte. Uh, it's called in by Charlotte and Lincoln. It's, they wanted a song. Try me, Lord. Yeah. And this is for Terry. She needs uh, more. She's the county's Moorhead. Is she's in the hospital? Some of these people upstairs have writing difficulties. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> yes. It's, they get in a hurry. I, I can't undecipher it. <laughs> okay. This is Canova from Madison. She has cancer. This is from Danny from Virginia. He has cancer. This is Edith Dean, and it's called, and she's the county's Indiana, but she just needs prayer. This is for Linda. It's called in McGreg and Anita Pike. They need prayer. And this is from Phyllis. She's a persistent caller. Her husband, Mickey, always needs prayer, and that's her caregiver. Mm -hmm. And her brother and her sister-in-law and her nephew also need prayer. And this is for Campbell family from Prairie, and she also wants Sherry Adams to be prayed for. And she just said to pray for the whole family. And this is from Doris from Buckhorn. She's going to the blood doctor and she needs a good report. And she also is concerned about her two daughters. This is for Stevie from Bertha County. He has pressure in his eyes and he has cataracts, so he needs prayer. And this is unspoken. Bertha needs healing really bad. He can't walk. He's been in the hospital for one night. This is for Cleo from Fleming. Husband is in the nursing home and he has bad back issues tonight. And she is re really needs prayer. And this is for Alfie Clevenger. This is her sister. Christine is critically ill tonight and her daughter Joy is having chest pains. Mm -hmm. Well, now, uh, since you're sitting next to our visitor, you interview him and I want to know more about him. Okay, I'll interview him. Oh, we're not on Fox News. No. <laughs> uh, this is Scotty Kilburn. He's originally from Bertha County, mm -hmm. but he lives in Manchester. And you can tell him more about you. Yes. Yeah. What a great honor it is to be here. A lot of you know who I am, but my name, like she said, my name is Scott Kilburn. I used to live in Bertha County, and, and I got married to a beautiful wife and uh, got two kids and, uh, and just recently uh, stepped down from pastoring and getting ready to start traveling again. Uh, across the country because I believe it's the hour and time right now to spread the gospel because right. there's a lot of people right now that's hurting, lost, uh, don't have no hope, but we realize that in Jesus we there's have hope. hope. Mm -hmm. And uh, and if you're going through anything, that's all these prayer requests, we serve a God that is a big God. I used to remember when I was growing up hearing them always say, we serve a big God. And uh, them old timers would preach, we serve a big God. And, and I can honestly say that at yeah. 42 years old, just even this week, I received a miracle in my right leg, uh, had something going on in my right leg and uh, couldn't even stand no more than five minutes on it and it just very painful and it's like you stuck a torch to it and just from top to bottom just burning and I called on the saints of God and began to have them to pray and, uh, and this week I can honestly sit here tonight and say it's not hurt at all well, and the hmm. swellings went down. We serve a big, big God. God and you want to know something? Yes. The enemy will tell you you're not no. worthy to receive it. But through the blood of Jesus, you're worthy tonight. Right where you're sitting, you may be by yourself and not feel all alone. 
But Jesus is right there right now to touch you wherever you're at. And, uh, and I just feel the Spirit of God moving right now. And I want to pray over these prayer requests yes. if yeah. you can. Let's pray right. over them. Uh, yeah, we were uh, sort of killing time until he starts to flipping that yeah. page and he'll tell us when to get off. But I was wondering, do you have literature or a card or something to give out to people to let them yeah, know can, that? They can go on my uh, Facebook page uh, under Scott Kilborn. I'm on uh, two different uh, pages there under Facebook. And then also I'm on Instagram. I do all of that. Uh, and then weekly, I do uh, at least two times a week, I do a live thing during the day, like a live uh, broadcast from uh, right there from Facebook Live. So I'd love to have you join me right there. So look me up on Scott Kilborn. And uh, for those that's uh, wanting to book us uh, in churches, you can contact me at 606-594-9040 or just message me right there through social media. For us old people, you got anything wrote down that we don't have to I, I go? Got you, sir. Paper. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so it is, uh, it's hard uh, sometimes for us old people to keep up yeah. with these young people, <laughs> what they can do, uh, the miracles that they do. Technology. And, uh, it's advancing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could, yeah. Okay. It's time we could pray now. Yes. So. We do miss uh, Margaret being here tonight, and we also miss uh, uh, Doug Finley. He's yes. supposed to be here to sing, and, and he was absent. But the people upstairs has already prayed for these, and we're yeah. going to pray for them. And uh, listeners at home, a lot of them write and say, I prayed for it when you was uh -huh. praying. Yeah. Right. There is power in prayer. Yes, they are. Yeah. The Bible says we're any two or three. Agree, agree together. touching yeah. any one thing, it shall mm -hmm. be done. And there's more than two or three right here and even upstairs yeah. and in this room. Even in the audience. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I believe tonight, I'm, I'm believing for testimonies to come forth from yeah. this night. And uh, like, let's pray. Father, we thank you tonight that we've had this awesome opportunity to come and lift up your name and glorify you because it's all about you. Father, we pray over every request as we lay hands. You said lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. We can't touch them in the natural right now, but God, through prayer, there's no distance in prayer. And we pray right now that in the mighty name of Jesus, that according to the word of God, we speak life into those people. We speak healing and strength into them. Father, even as the Bible said, we pray that their faith fail not. That God, that even when they're right now thinking there's no hope, as we've been talking tonight, we pray for that strength. Holy Spirit, just move on them right now and give them that hope. Give them that strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, we agree. We come in agreement right now. God, we believe in your prayer. We believe in your prayer. We believe when the saints of God pray, things happen. We believe right now, at this moment, things are happening right now across this country for those that's watching, those that's listening. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise for it. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you, Jesus. So, uh... We got four minutes to end up, so uh, you want to say something right fast? Uh, I'll just agree. You know, it, there is power in prayer, and like uh, I love to come, you know, and answer the phones and stuff because guess what? Their testimonies oh, help yeah. my faith. Absolutely, yeah. man. Those people have been there and done that, and man, it encourages you. You know, and. Uh, I just agree, man, there is power yes. in prayer. Yes, there is. Because I personally would not be here, yeah. you know, without the power of prayer. Say it. You know, but uh, man, mm. just, the, just the power. Yeah. And in groups, oh, yeah. there is power yeah. in groups, yes, too. Yes, are. You know, like uh, we have corporate prayer, you know, and intercessory prayer, different kinds of prayer. But man, it's based on relationship with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Knowing Him. Say that. Knowing him that he will answer our prayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it might not be when on air time. Yeah. Or it might not be what we want exactly. Yeah. You know, but he knows what's best for us. Yes. And that's a heavenly father. Yes, it is. And not only that, he knows us by name. Mm. Man, think, my father knows me by name. Yes, that's powerful. That, yeah, powerful. Mm. So, mm. Go ahead. Yeah, that's just, actually, she was talking about he's our father. You know, he's a good right. father. Good, good. A lot of people on earth don't get to experience that father role. But when you look at the heavenly father, that he gave his all, his only son, son. just for you, just for me. 
that would die on a cross and shed that blood so you and I could be born again, be saved. You know what? That's that's wonderful. We mm. serve a big God You're tonight. Right. And and that's powerful what you're yeah. saying. He knows our name. Out of, yeah. And he knows that and he knows your name. He knows right where you're at right now. And uh, so just call on him right where you're at and know that he's he's right there with you. Right. Even in the midnight air, you know, they sing a song. You know, your friends might forsake you, but in the he knows her cry. Mm. In the wee hours of the morning, man, he hears her cries. Mm. You know, there's no God like that. No there's, God. He is a good, good father. Yeah. You got one well, minute. <laughs> uh, I've had fun tonight, and I hope you all have had. And we got one minute to say, uh, God bless you, and uh, tune in tomorrow. Or, well, Thank tune you. in. Just keep keeping up, WLJC. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest program. We trust you are blessed every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution of support. Will you become a financial partner of Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? We invite you to send your pledges of support to WLJC, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.wljc.com. May God bless you.